Minister Miro Sarar, dear ministers present today, especially the Minister of Culture of Slovenia, I'm extremely happy and delighted to be uh, here with you today and to welcome all of you since we are partnering with the Slovenian government in organizing this very unique, actually, platform. I think this is the largest creative forum organized in the Euro-Mediterranean region so far. But it's not the last one, for sure. And the idea to co-organize co co this very important event with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Slovenia, of course, with the help of our partners in GIZ, was not really uh, uh, by mere uh, chance. Slovenia has become a model when it comes to creative industry. <coughs> what you have achieved in the last few years in terms of creative industries is a model that should be looked at, scaled up, and transferred to the rest in the Euro Mediterranean region. So I look at Ljubljana as not only the hub for Slovenia, but the hub for the whole Euromed region when it comes to creative industry and creative economy and creative activity. And I look at it also as a connecting dot between the Balkans, Europe on one hand, and the southern Mediterranean region on the other hand. So the choice of Ljubljana and the choice of Slovenia is a natural choice that came and that was so evident for us at UFM, but also throughout the region. We started last year, but I think this year is, is definitely a huge leap uh, towards making this a regular uh, event and a regular rendezvous, as we say in French, between creators and also policy makers from throughout our region. Creative Capital United. Why? Because we share the view that creativity is one of the most important assets in our region, in the world, but especially in our region. It is a building block in terms of defining our regional identity, but also <clears throat> it is a catalyst for job creation, for sustainable economic growth. And I stress on the word sustainable, because creativity, by definition, is not polluting in any way or form or shape. It is mostly in phase with the SDGs and our goal of sustainable development. It helps also in terms of social cohesion and in unlocking innovative solution to so many of the problems in our region. The figures support what I'm saying. The creative economy contribute 5% of the GDP or gross domestic product of many countries in our region, but it accounts for 10% of the employment landscape. I don't need to give a much more important example than this one. I remember a few years back when I was my country's ambassador to the UK, I was speaking with the head of the Royal Institute for Strategic Studies, and he was telling me the one factor that makes the United Kingdom occupy a place in the world that is what it is at the time. He said, Ambassador, we produce only 2.5 to 3% of the world GDP, but we have 6% of the world intellectual property patent. And that's exactly what define our place. It's not the 3%, it's the 6% in terms of creativity. 
we choose to use those figures and to see them not for what they are, but for what they promise in terms of the huge potential for both human and sustainable development, as I just mentioned. Creativity is at the heart of what we call today the fourth industrial revolution, economy 4.0. It has become the usual suspect omnipresent in any discussion about the future of work, digital transformation, skills for the future, and the list is very long. And at the, at the Union for the Mediterranean, we are no stranger to neither the talk, as we say, nor the walk. We're talking the talk now, and I hope we'll be walking the walk in the, in the very near future. We have dedicated a considerable portion of our activities towards promoting creative economy and innovation. I have so many examples of the activity that we do, starting with our very important conference on digital transformation that we held in, in Estonia, all the way to, in two weeks, holding our, our workshop on the future of work and skills in Turin in Italy. But moreover, we also helped create and structure and mobilize resources for so many projects. One of them is the UFM label project uh, within our flagship initiative, Met for Job, a project that aims to establish platform for culture and creative industry and clusters in the southern Mediterranean region. I will end my introductory remark. I don't know if Azafam is here yet or not. Zayk. <laughs> well, you are an example, uh, Azafami, and allow me to say Azafami, but Lady Azafami, of, of what creative industry represent taking a very old art form, which is pharaonic and Islamic, and turning it into a world, a household name known all over the world, and taking this Egyptian art form to the global market, scaling it up, and creating hundreds, if not thousands, of jobs supporting your creation in this field. You are exactly the perfect example, and I look forward to, to hear your keynote speech. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. I promise you this is not our last, or not even one isolated event where the UFM will be investing in creative economy. We will be partnering with Slovenia especially, but partnering with all our member states will take what we learned from you today, young creators. I heard uh, the beautiful experience that you had yesterday in terms of uh, architecture and in terms of, uh, of, of, of the genius huh? and the creative hub you have visited. And I cannot but admire this beautiful space, which I understand is going to disappear in a few weeks, but I'm sure other and others will pop up in this beautiful land of Slovenia. Thank you very much.